We are the town, AM 1530, FM 102.3, WCTR. We are the talk of the towns for Kent and Queen Anne's counties. And uh, I'm Keith Thompson, Shore Morning Show. And I uh, have to apologize for getting your, your name wrong earlier, but N Navik Johnson uh, joining us and uh, candidate uh, for the uh, Kent County School Board. And, and uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, uh, a young man, uh, currently uh, you're a, a freshman at, uh, at Chesapeake College, uh, just uh, fresh out of high school and a uh, uh, graduate of Queen Anne's County High School, but uh, but uh, you live here in, the, in Kent County and running uh, for the, uh, the Kent County uh, School Board, so I mean, for, you know, um, I'm guessing, what, 18, 18, 19 years old? 18. 18 years old, and uh, uh, so uh, why are you running uh, for the Kent County, uh, County School Board? A lot of people have asked me that, and I I, first of all, my grandmother was on the school board for 18 years, and so I kind of want to follow after her footsteps because she was a very good advocate for education. Uh, next, I find that our school system over here in King County has declined and then it rose a little bit and then declined again, and that was due to poor administration changes and poor people in the administration and the school board. So that I would like to see that being changed. And the, also the main thing is the youth need a voice in our county. Although we have a student board member, uh, that student board member doesn't have voting rights and what voting rights that student board member has, they are very limited. And when I say limited, she, I believe that the youth need a voice in the things that count like the budget and the human resources. Who are we bringing into the administration? And, and uh, you were mentioning uh, we there was uh, Jacob Chairs uh, last year who was the, uh, the student representative on the school board made quite a splash uh, with his uh, presentation and uh, um, and uh, talking about uh, the uh, the academic requirements and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the problems there and so mm -hmm. you know at least in the, in his in his case uh, didn't have voting rights but uh, certainly made a splash and uh, and uh, left a lasting impression so yes, i mean first did. of all do uh, do you know jacob yes i did meet had the pleasure of meeting jacob um last january um, at the uh, first board meeting of the year at the high school. And uh, how much of an inspiration um, is he to you? Is, I, is, 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 is he part of the reason that uh, maybe got you fired up? Directly? Yeah, he, he's part of the reason because I saw that he was had a little difficulty of getting it out and a lot of the other board members weren't listening. And although he, does, like I said, doesn't have voting rights, he did make that splash like you said. But also he needed to, um, but nothing was being done. So I kind of that kind of led led me on to run for board of education. Seeing what he that splash he made, and nothing being done, that kind of makes me wanting to run for the board. And uh, so, uh, really, you cite uh, <laughs> amongst the uh, the the, uh, the problems that you see that, that that you would like to change is the uh, the the administration. Is that in, in terms of the. Uh, uh, of the uh, the school superintendent, would you like to see a, a different uh, superintendent, or or, or maybe, or maybe uh, just some changes in the uh, in the, the way that she does things? Dr. Wheeler is a uh, again a good person, but the way she does and how she carries out the administration and her actions are not the best of the way best actions that should be dealt with. Uh, like the cons school's consolidation, that wasn't dealt with correctly. It should have been dealt with in a better way, having forums to meet with the parents, having communication meetings, uh, presenting communications, just not sitting down, okay, we're going to consolidate, and that's it, instead of there was no parent meeting or anything at the time. Uh, so uh, how would uh, how, how would uh, I mean consolidation is something that's it's done it can't really be revisited, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, but how how could it have been handled a little bit better? Um, could have been handled better by uh, having um, more communication with the parents through uh, parent meetings. Um, instead of making a decision right away, they should have had a year to study this, and they didn't take a year to study it. And I don't think it was something that was that important that couldn't have waited another year to actually sit down, do surveys, do uh, different methods of uh, making sure that every parent had a voice or uh, going to each school and notifying each parent during parent conference time where do you want your child to go next year or how do you what do you feel about it instead of they had the three um, 
public forums, that's not enough to convey a message because at the end of it, at the end of the day, they still had it their way. They didn't listen to the public, so that wasn't the right way to do that. And uh, with the, in terms of the uh, the academics, so within the uh, uh, the school, is there what would you like to see changed uh, within the school system? Academics are always important, and um, I'm going to be honest that we have to make adequate year progress, which is is when we take the state MSA or HSA, um, we are measured based on um, uh, three our scale, which is our proficiency scale. <clears throat> and if we do not get proficient on those state tests, we don't make adequate year progress. And the acronym for that is AYP. And so once we don't make adequate year progress, then if we keep not, excuse me, if we don't make adequate year progress year after year, then the state will come in and take over our schools, and which is not good. And I this year we did not make adequate year progress at the high school, and we did not make it at the middle school. And so, what I want to see the academic change. We need to be challenging our students more. We need to create more programs for those um, low uh, performing areas, which were the, our special education, our African American, and I want to say our free and reduced lunch kids.